It can be said that great white sharks are pretty exhilarating apex fish predators of the sea, but observing them, both juvenile and adults, isn't always exciting. In fact, I'd go as far as saying great white sharks are pretty boring animals most of the time. And while they have to keep moving to stay alive, whether it's close to humans or not, they really aren't doing much. But despite that, there's always something that can be learned through observation. Sometimes it is something as simple as color. Look at this shark. Notice its unique color. At first glance, it's unmistakable. This white shark has a different pigmentation from others. What can something so simple tell us? A lot, actually. For one, sharks do get a tan. This was first suggested by Dr. Chris Lowe in 1996. The levels of sunlight intensity can impact how dark sharks appear. A pale colored shark can be an indication that a shark has been in murky or deeper water. Most recently, marine biologist Allison Towner from South Africa informed me that her team has also observed white sharks appear really dark black in the height of summer, likely from foraging for fish in shallow high sunlit areas. Likewise, in the winter, they often appear a lighter gray. So while white sharks may appear boring, they give us information about their everyday lives. Some of that information can affect our lives too. The following images are part of a data set that is going to international scientists studying fluid dynamics of sharks and marine mammals. From above, you can clearly see the unique ripples the shark's dorsal fin leaves behind. What can data like this teach us? Shark skin is covered in small bony scales called dermal denticles. It has long been hypothesized that shark scales reduce drag by managing water flow closest to the skin. In addition, shark denticles may help vortices stay attached to particular areas of the shark's body. These vortices are low pressure regions of swirling water that result in more suction and forward thrust. The result is an increase in swimming speeds because of the reduced drag and the increase in thrust. Those applications can then be applied to human inventions like boats, aircraft, and most recently to increase efficiency of wind turbines. By mimicking the properties of a shark's skin, a wind turbine can operate with the same effectiveness at low wind speeds, while also reducing noise. It is truly amazing that something as simple as studying the unique signature left by the ripples of a great white shark can lead to innovations in our everyday lives. With shark numbers seemingly on the rise in Southern California, there are various scientists studying them daily. Here's a clip of a shark ironically curious about a research buoy owned by the Shark Lab at California State University, Long Beach. These buoys gather data on tagged sharks in the area, water temperatures, and give us a vital look at their everyday movements. These are significant data points that could unlock even more answers about these creatures. With numbers on the rise, there's something occurring more often. Sharks in close vicinity to each other. Their social interactions are quite telling. Sometimes a shark will make a rapid shift in direction, such as this. Notice the reaction. It's not subtle. And as I lift the drone, you will see the whole picture. The vortex trails say it all. It's clear another shark has crossed its path. The significance of these social behaviors remains largely unknown, but many help the sharks establish social rank and avoid physical conflict. In the shark world, size reigns king. So much of their social rank is based on size alone. It's not rare to see two white sharks glide slowly past each other in opposite directions and then circle each other briefly. They may be comparing sizes to determine which one is dominant or just simply identifying each other. This scene may show another social behavior, one that is somewhat of a white shark version of chicken. Two white sharks swim toward one another. The first to swerve seeds dominance. The two white sharks often swim side by side and follow each other in a circle. Again, possibly to compare their relative sizes. 
A recent study out of Florida International University suggests that some white sharks will be social when it benefits them, but that the sharks do not necessarily rely on one another. Check the links below for a good read on this topic. Nobody really knows why exactly they do what they do, but it sure is exciting to witness sharks interacting with other sharks, as well as other species. Sharks have been here since long before the dinosaurs, so these behaviors have been honed in over a vast amount of time. They are indeed intriguing creatures that are so much more complex than I ever imagined. Perhaps that's why they've been on this planet for so long. This is a sunfish floating gracefully off the coast of Malibu, California. It reminds me that the ocean is full of wonders. You just never know what you will find. While white sharks aren't always the easiest to spot, it is somewhat easy to tell when something just isn't right. Can you see the shark emerge from the depths here? When it does, you may see what I'm talking about. Do you see it? As I get closer, you'll notice it immediately. The right pectoral fin of this shark is not normal. With a close flyby, you can see the fin is bent upwards. It's an injury I've seen before. While this one is not as severe as the injury on Arrow, whom I've yet to see again in over a year now, this injury has the same look to it. Ultimately, white sharks are resilient animals and have an amazing ability to heal, but only time will tell if I can find this shark again in the future. In the meantime, I will keep learning and I will certainly keep looking. I greatly appreciate your support on this channel and I look forward to bringing you more information featuring shark experts and scientists. I encourage you to read the citations in the video description below to learn more about the shark topics discussed. If you'd like to learn more about how to get involved in protecting our sea life, please visit the links of the organizations listed in the video description below.